All right, guys, how are you? I'm going to talk about what you need to do. This is the director's cut, so you'll be able to see me inside the car and out. When you're in the neighborhood, I want to see you drive in the middle, right side. You'll be able to see me look. There's a car coming, so you're going to see me look, and then I'm going to get over to the middle right. Take your time when you're driving. I'm looking left and right for kids. You should see me looking around. If I'm in the passenger seat and you're driving, I should see you looking left and right. We're gonna take you through some neighborhoods, make some right turns, left turns. You'll be able to see me parking, should be a pretty good angle, and this will definitely help you. So I'm coming to a stop. I'm gonna turn on my blinker. I wanna look left, right, left, but there's a car coming to my left. I need to move ahead, it's called showing the car. See the car? You'll see it. If you don't look, you would have gotten hit, so always look. And then I'm gonna turn hand over hand, you'll be able to see that, and I turn out. We're in North America, driving with your hands, nine and three, 10 and two, seven and five. There's more than one way to drive the car. You're gonna learn from me, your instructor, learn from your parents, learn from your older sister or brother. So when you're driving, drive and have your hand position that feels comfortable. This is a great area to take clients. Speed limit is 25, but I'm at about 20. I'm just looking, checking. Eye movement is critical. Watching for kids, people, scanning. Got a hound dog over there. <laughs> Some that's looking around, and you'll see me looking around the curve. This is what I need to see you do. That's a nice uh, Bronco over there. <clears throat> this is a cul de sac or circle driveway. Have a lot of these in North America. So I'm going in and I'm going to turn. Really slow where I'm going take my time I'm gonna turn out hand over hand I'm looking around the curve to teach I see that black truck coming you should see it too in a moment often when I take students or clients through here I really want to see you looking around curves this is a great area for driver's ed development looking at intersections you see me looking but I'm not staring at anything and then I would tell you I need you to make a right turn at the corner coming up so when 100 feet a half a block I should see you turning on the blinker right about now then I want to see you squeeze the brake I'm at about 18 and I am looking if I don't see you looking through the turn, I know we're going to crash, hit the curb. This is a partially controlled intersection. There's a stop sign. So we have to stop for three seconds. I'm looking to the left. There are three kids playing. I'm going to turn on my left turn signal. I'm looking. And then I'm going to go across, then turn hand over hand. I'm staying away from the kids. Beautiful Corvette. So I'm looking through here and I'm going in, looking around the curve. You should see me looking through, going in, going in real easy, and I'm looking. Great steering, really nice, and I turn out hand over hand. Going around to the left. There's a lot of things going on here for the holidays. And then now I'm going to be making a right turn. So at about 100 feet, a half a block, turn on the blinker. I should see you looking, just like I'm looking. Cover the brake, turn, one half turn, and turn out. We have a stop sign, so I'm turning my blinker 100 feet, a half a block. Look before you get here. It's almost like a video game. Corners are where people don't score or lose points. So I'm going to come up and stop. I look left, right, left, but I can't see to the left and I can't see to the right. So I'm an inch forward, covering my brake. 
and it's clear. So then I look where I'm going and you can see that front view and then I turn out. It's almost 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. People are tired, coming home. They don't really follow the route, so I'm just scanning, looking around. I'm at about 23 miles an hour, looking before every intersection. If you just popped in, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. This is Bring Me Value. Give it a thumbs up. I'm looking. I'll be making a left turn up here. Uh, the trees do block the stop signs, but that's no excuse. You still have to stop. So I'm going to stop completely for three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Then I'm looking where I want to go. A lot of beginning drivers look down at the speedometer, they look at their foot, look where you want the car to go. I'm making a right turn, the car's kind of bouncing. I'm going to make a right turn, blinkers on, I look, two dogs there, I'm looking, you might see the dogs, then I turn out. Yep. I'm going to make a left hand turn in this street to do a three-point turnaround, so I'm looking, checking, and I'm looking where I want to go, turn out, hand over hand. I'm scanning, I bring clients and students down here deliberately, it's really small, it's really tight, I really want to see your maneuverability, so I'm going to go down to the last driveway, turn on my blinker, and then I'm going to turn in, go up really easily, And then I, my car's straight. I'm going to reverse out. If I want to go to the left, I turn the wheel to the left. The front will swing out to the right. So I look. I do have a backup camera, but I'm still looking. And then I turn all the way to the left. The rear goes to the left. You see me looking. And I need you to do this. It's in drive. And I turn out. So that was a pretty good turn. I'm just looking, scanning, being patient. be making a right turn. I'm looking before I get here. Think like a video game. Look before we get here, have to have a complete stop for three seconds. There's a vehicle. You'll see it. 1001, 1002, 1003. So if you don't look, you're going to miss a car and get hit. I'm going to roll forward. Keep your turn short and turn out. get you on the expressway too to show you what testers are looking for. I want to see the rear of the tires on the ground. Real life traffic. You can see both. You can see outside and see me looking. If you don't look, you're going to pull out. They don't have a blinker on. I don't know what they're doing. I'm going to go up, waiting for the car. Then I turn into the nearest lane. Keep your turn short. It's pretty good. I kind of went to the outside. You're going to see me check my blind spot. I'm getting over one lane to the left. It's pretty good. I'm taking my time. I'll be getting on the expressway, so I want you to see what I do. always pulling out. I have a green arrow, but I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm going slow. I'm already committed. I'm already in. That car to the left should, to the right should yield. This is a really good view. Cloverleaf. So I'm looking around. A lot of beginners hug the right, and we almost go into the ditch. I'm checking. Got it. One second. And I'm looking, and then I build up speed, and I accelerate. I'm at about 65 miles an hour now. Pretty good merge. Just looking, scanning, the 
motorcycles flying. You might not be able to hear, you just hear a bunch of wind noise. They are flying about 120 miles an hour. We're going about 70. I'm gonna get off at this exit. If you watched the other video yesterday, there was a, almost a rear end collision here. So my foot's off the gas. A lot of beginners go too fast here. So you wanna squeeze your brakes. And sometimes the speed limit is 25, 35. So you gotta go in slow. Take your time. Going in nice and easy. Trying to be smooth. And then you have the Chevron alignment sense. They tell you the road is going to the left. So you've got to squeeze your brakes. They're always on the opposite side. Blinkers on, I'm looking. I have to stop first. A lot of times, beginners and people taking the road test, they fail because they just blow through the red light. You have to stop completely. So you're gonna see me go up and stop. And then I look to the left. It's clear. And then I go, I'm gonna go into this first lane and then I'm gonna make a right turn. Blinkers on, then I squeeze my brakes, I'm checking it, I always look around, and then I squeeze my brakes, you're going to see me look where I want to go. This ought to be interesting, we got a little S-curve here, so, going in nice and easy. All these dinner restaurant places are packed, so I'm going to take you into this parking lot, very dangerous, people don't stop, like I'm not sure if they are, so I'm just looking. And this is a route I also take students on, so I want to show you this too. It teaches you about pedestrians, road signs. So I'm going to squeeze my brake, and I'm looking really tight turn. Now they, I think they recently put speed bumps here. So I'm not scanning left and right. It says stop here for a pedestrian, so they weren't pedestrians back there. But now I'm coming up looking, and I'm looking and scanning. I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna wait for pedestrians to go by, being courteous. I don't know what this guy's doing. And then I'm gonna proceed. I love it. I usually take students on this route twice, so I'm gonna take you on twice. And then this is the new speed bump. That's a weird stop sign. So they do this to protect pedestrians. I'm before them, so I'm gonna go ahead and proceed through. See how the lady cut out in front of me? Really dangerous, cutting it too close. I'm gonna make a right turn up here. Really can't see left and right, so you see me stopping. And I'm looking, I can see. And then I'm turning hand over hand into the turn and then I turn out. Another teacher of a moment, I'm gonna show you where blind spots are. Okay, this is a blind spot to the right side, okay? You don't wanna hang around blind spots. Let me go ahead and back up, teacher of a moment. They're from Nebraska, I'm looking. I'm gonna show you this since we have this opportunity. And this is another blind spot. You see me turning this wheel, really turning it. Okay, they can't see me. Don't drive this close. It also says, whoa, that truck over there was moving. Um, caution, this truck made wide right turns. Don't mess with that. Okay, I see the driver. And then I'm gonna back up, look around. And then I'm turning the wheels, looking. And then this is the, another blind spot, okay? Don't hang around this. I've seen a lot of accidents, so you don't want to hang around this. Okay, let's keep moving. The four blind spots, left side, right side, front and back. So I'm gonna look over my shoulders and I'm gonna take you around this route again. This is a great area to take students. A lot of things happening, so I'm gonna make a right turn. I'm looking for blinkers, checking. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn. They to be a stop sign here. So there's the stop sign. So I have to stop for three seconds. Uh, they do not have a stop sign, so I have to stop. 
and then I'm gonna wait. Okay, she gave me the right of way, the right of way can only is given, so that's cool. So that's how it works, and then I'm gonna go down again. Make another turn. This area, you're gonna get four, three to four right turns. You gotta come up and stop. And then you move forward. And look, there's a car coming. I'm gonna pretend I'm a student driver hesitating. Wait, there's no blinker, there's no nothing. I don't know what they're doing. They turn the blinker on at the last second. Not really enough time for us to make a proper decision. Go in again and go around. See me slowing down. I'm looking where I want to go. And go in slow. Keep your turn smooth. Stop here for pedestrians. So I'm just going to kind of yield really slow. And then I'm going to proceed. And I'm looking for people. I see those kids. I see the lady coming out with the baby. I'm not trying to get blood on my hands. I have a complete stop. Right, there's another person. I'm just waiting. Okay, they're staying to the side, so I'm gonna proceed. Just looking and scanning. A very interesting stop sign. I'm gonna let her Walk by and clear the intersection. I see other people coming. I'm looking and scanning. Oh, but I keep blowing that one, man. So you gotta look around. But this is real. <clears throat> I'm looking left and right. Cars, people. I'm looking and checking. You wanna be consistent. This is where the actual road is. So, we want to be mindful of this uh, semi-truck. Uncontrolled intersection, you gotta look. The main road has to right of way. I'm gonna have to get some clients over here. This is a really uh, good area. I'm showing you some of the tricks of the trade. Then I am going to go around again because I want you to get a sense <clears throat> of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, when I have that complete stop. But then I have to take my turn. A lot of students, oh, I stopped, and then they blow the stop sign. So you have to stop for three seconds 1001, 1002, 1003. All right. <clears throat> I'll be making a right turn. You notice a lot of people do not have on blinkers. That would be a fault or an error. They call a, a error in the United States. A fault would be in the UK other. Barely blinkers on. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna go up. Stop, I looked. It's a lot of things popping up and popping out. Blinkers on early. Next time I'll do a parking tutorial for you. I like this director's view so you can really see. <laughs> this time, I'm gonna stop, okay? If you're not sure, then stop. That was nice. I see people walking, so I'm just gonna go slow. I see her looking at me. <clears throat> Pedestrians always have the right of way. Really slow, she's walking to the side. stop. Let these pedestrians clear, clear, and then I go through. You see my eye movement. You see the kids. I'm just going slow here. I only take clients through here a couple times because it can get very overwhelming. <clears throat> stop here again. And I'm gonna go in the second parking area. This is a nice little tight turn. 
See the people there? Yes, I'm looking around. I'm gonna stay away from him. I don't know what he's doing. He'll always be the defensive driver. Parking lots are one of the most dangerous areas. I'm letting you know this. So I'm just being careful. I like to park far away from vehicles. And then next time we'll do an updated parking tutorial. But I'm gonna split the spot in half. You'll be able to see me get in. Hey. So let's review. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. I took you through a neighborhood, a typical route, uh, making four to six right turns, four to six left turns, had complete stops, driving through a residential area. Uh, taught you to have a complete stop for three seconds. You look left, you look right, you look left. Then from there, we went up to a major thoroughfare, a major street. We got on the expressway. I got in at the appropriate time. You saw a blinking light, which is a protected light. If traffic is clear, you can proceed. You saw me get on the cloverleaf. Cloverleafs are very difficult to get on because you gotta go slow and they're difficult to get off. So, and then you saw me merge. You saw me use my blinker, looked over my shoulder, checked my blind spots. Then from there, we got off at the next exit making this very similar to your road test. Then from there, we went around this uh, shopping area where there are multiple stop signs, yield signs. <clears throat> People are not using blinkers. People are using blinkers. People are yielding the right of way. You saw me stop, you saw me look. You saw pedestrians come out in front of me, behind me, beside me. If this brought you value and you learned something, give it a thumbs up. I want to say thank you. Hopefully you enjoyed this director's view. And if you did, leave some comments. I'll be putting this up as soon as possible. Bye, guys.